Hello, and welcome to The Softer Side. I'm your storytelling life coach, Shelley Carney. Today's topic is goals and obstacles. Thank you for watching The Softer Side Storytelling Therapy and Life Coaching. Please leave a comment and let me know your biggest challenge when it comes to stress relief and what topics you would like to see in the future. Subscribe and click on the bell to be front row center for new videos. Join us in the friendly, supportive live chat room for our live coaching videos and share the Softer Side channel with your friends and family members who need to reduce the stress and anxiety in their lives. And once again, today's topic is goals and obstacles. The key to success is to focus on goals, not obstacles. Taking massive action toward achieving goals. Most of us take action once. Then we give up. We try a diet, an exercise plan, a new healthy habit or a new hobby. We try everything once. If it doesn't work out the way we wanted or it doesn't give us an instant result, we quit. That is just taking action. Taking massive action for anything that you do in your life is the process of anticipating obstacles and being willing to fail repeatedly. Working toward a goal, making mistakes, deciding to assess and regroup, and doing it wrong again. Then try again and hit another obstacle and get a result you didn't expect. Then try again and again. Until we get the result that we desire. That is massive action. The kind of massive action that achieves hard-won success. Eliminate risk, eliminate rewards. If you don't set goals or take action, you may believe you are reducing your risk of failure. But really, you're just failing ahead of time. The riskiest thing you can ever do is to never try to give your dreams, life purpose, and personal contribution a chance to succeed or make a difference. So when you are making decisions and creating goals, You can't just consider, what will happen if it doesn't work out? You have to consider, what will I lose out on if what I want to try would work out to be amazingly life-changing and I don't go for it? The worst case scenario is that you don't even try. The worst case scenario is that you could have and you didn't. How much is that costing you? Pablo Picasso said, Our goals can only be reached through a vehicle of a plan in which we must fervently believe and upon which we must vigorously act. There is no other route to success. Benjamin E. Mays says, It must be borne in mind that the tragedy of life doesn't lie in not reaching your goal. The tragedy lies in having no goals to reach. Michelangelo said, The greater danger for most of us isn't that our aim is too high and we miss it, but that it is too low and we reach it. Now let's hear the story, Prepare to Leap. A teacher met with his two best students, Robin and River, at a forested trailhead near their school. He pointed to the trail and told them, Both of you are currently equal in standing in our class. This final test will determine which of you will be graduating as the top student this year. This is a high honor, and you will be awarded a scholarship and give a speech of graduation if you win. Robin and River were excited to compete in this great challenge. Their teacher told them, Today is the first part of the challenge. I will meet you at the end of this trail. One of you will achieve an advantage today that will help you in the final part of the test, which will occur next week. You may begin. Robin and River started off down the trail together. They enjoyed the smell of the pine trees, the feel of the warm sun, and the cool breeze and the sounds of the birds and splashing of a nearby stream. After a few minutes traveling together, 
I saw that the path divided in two separate directions. Robin decided to follow the trail that seemed clear and easier to follow. River chose the other path, which was obscured with fallen trees, rocks, and other obstacles. Robin arrived at the end of the trail first and was greeted by the teacher. Robin felt clever for having taken the faster, easier path. Surely this was the advantage their teacher mentioned. River finally arrived, sweating and out of breath, covered in dirt and brambles and wearing wet, muddy shoes. Robin said, I'm glad I took the easier path. It looks like you chose a much more difficult route. River nodded, acknowledging that the trail had indeed been arduous. The teacher smiled and congratulated them both. Then he arranged their next meeting at a different location, where their final challenge would take place. Robin and River met with their teacher at a ravine for their final challenge. The teacher told them, Today's challenge is to jump across this ravine. Robin and River judged the ravine with concern, seeing that it was a few meters wide. Robin defeatedly said to the teacher, I can't. The ravine is too wide. I'm afraid I would fall and be seriously hurt. I won't do it. The teacher and Robin then both looked at River, who said, I'll give it a try. Robin remembered overcoming the challenge of last week's trek with all its obstacles and difficulties. There had been creeks and crevices to jump over and many boulders to scramble across. River took several steps back, got a running start, and leapt across the ravine, landing solidly on the other side. River had done it. The teacher cheered. You have won, River. Well done. Their teacher had been right. The challenge of the week before had earned River the advantage of the confidence needed to complete this final test. The teacher turned to Robin and advised, Last week, when you chose the easier path, it did not prepare you to face this more difficult challenge. Life is a series of challenges that we must overcome, not avoid, if we are to achieve our full potential. So what do you think? Ask yourself these questions. Do I set goals that are easily achieved or just out of my current reach? Do I take massive action until I reach my goals or quit when things become challenging? Could I increase my confidence by conquering more difficult challenges? Throughout life, we learn that confidence is earned and it can't be given to us. It can't be taught to us. We have to earn it by setting goals, trying to get to those goals and failing and continuing to try until we reach that goal. And that is when our confidence will bloom. It's important that we do set goals that are just out of our reach if we ever want to achieve more than we currently have. Remember, we have a free booklet of today's story available to you at esofterside.com. If you would like to share that with your family and friends, you can download the booklet and watch the video there again. I want to share with you an amazing free mini course I've developed for my subscribers to reduce stress and achieve inner peace. This mini course provides tips, exercises, and guided meditations to further enhance relaxation and bring calm to a frazzled life. Simply visit eSofterSide.com to get your free mini course. And while you're there, you can also schedule a free coaching call with me to address your personal needs when it comes to releasing pain and achieving happiness. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Peace be with you. Namaste.